Hi everyone, this is Charles, and we're going to take a little uh, quick, bit of a quick look at um, an Ali Yachta S expansion. Um, it's one on the Parthian Wars, and so basically, I'm I'm here at the one of the AGDs um, with, well, their website. It looks like it's 20 bucks to to get an add-on. So if you're interested in the Parthian Wars, um, of course, that is the Rome versus Parthia. Um, could be a good good add-on. Um, it isn't so you have to have the game all the to S um, to play it. So um, it's a, so it is an actual it is an actual add-on. So what I've done, I just I basically loaded it, and it looks like it comes with five um, five scenarios. Um, the first one is led by um, it's not like, I think yeah Crassus. And actually, it's pretty interesting for me because I just read a book on Cicero, and it kind of started that that, that period where Crassus was going, um, was going there. Of course, Cicero Cicero was also around around then. Um, and it looks, it looks like there's one um, that that Caesar after he defeated Pompey. That's also in the book I just read. Um, Marcus Antonius, uh, Trajan's conquest, and um, Severus. So. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this last one. Other four I'm I'm vaguely familiar with. Um, let's take a look at Crassus's campaign. Um, I, I'm really bad with these pronunciations, Karai, um, perhaps, but uh, I don't think I'm t giving away the story. Crassus has famously defeated um, and um, executed after, as he I think, tried to parlay with the Parthians. Um, so here. Looks like it pops up a little bit of a background. There actually, so there's currently um, um, basically Crassus was a wealthy Roman, and now he's um, he's gone east to basically take command. I think this was the first triumv triumvirate, um, and it was with Pompey, um, Crassus, and Caesar, I believe. Um, Yeah, I think that's what I think that's what it was. Uh, anyways, um, so I talked a little bit again, like intro of the campaign, and um, so it's just like an all the like to ask. There's certain regions that are not applicable. So basically, um, we have Roman red, and then we have uh, kind of like this Parthian uh, Parthian Parthian green. So as you can see, Roman uh, Rome controls um, much of the territory directly um, or indirectly uh, the Parthians are um, are over here um, a few extra boxes interesting so places a bit more distant let's um, let's zoom in and um, here's our main army currently led by Crassus uh, about 40,000 40,000 men and um, six legions um, and then there's some other small small forces um, around. We're a pretty good ways away from the first um, first Parthian um, army, so we have a ways to go there. Let's kind of take a look and see what kind of options are available. Um, so the the format or the gameplay is is still the same. Um, Looks like some summer stuff, propaganda, campaign, more money, minor games. You know, so if you're familiar with, um, you're familiar with, uh, with the Lee Eye Test, then you'll be familiar with this. Um, right, so it looks like our, our, our main objective is, um, Interesting. We do control Babylon, so yeah. I, I just I kind of wish I knew more. Um, no, we don't. We do. No, we don't. Um, ah, you know what this is? This is a this is a rebellion. Um, basically, there's been a rebellion in in Parthia at this time. So um, <laughs> we have a. Uh, um, some small forces that are um, basically um, basically besieged. Mercedes the third, um, yeah, led some sort of rebellion. So it could be interesting to you know read up on Wikipedia. 
Um, the book I read on Cicero only talked a little bit um, about the campaign. I just know it ended ended in disaster. Um, ended in disaster for a four crisis. So wow, so it takes 67 days, um, 67 days to get there. So I think that kind of gives you a little feel for the game. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, go through go through and play it right now as I'm focusing on uh, EGUD's um, Civil War II. But uh, basically, the, the map is um, you know Asia according to the Roman terminology, and um, you have really I think it was like what six different scenarios. So for 20 bucks, you're looking at three or four dollars per scenario. And if uh, you're just in this kind of history. That's a that's just a great deal, and I think there'll be a lot of a lot of fun things, um, a lot of fun things to play. All right, see you next time.